Today, Sam's News is off to catch up with the first cohort of students on our new joint master's degree. ACES is an aquaculture course that spans across three European centres. Here in Scotland, the course is run through the University of the Highlands and Islands. Today, the students are visiting Fusion Marine, a marine engineering firm in Burkholden in Argyll. We are an aquaculture supply company. We supply equipment to the aquaculture industry in Scotland and overseas. We've been in business for 25 years next year. We started supplying fish farm pens to the trout and salmon industry. We've supplied aquaculture equipment to more than 30 countries around the world to keep involved in the aquaculture industry globally. ACES is, stands for Aquaculture, Environment and Society. It's a two-year master's course funded by Erasmus+, Plus, so funding from the European Union. The funding itself provides 41 fully paid scholarships, so that's not just your fees, that's your travel, your installation and subsistence costs for the entire entirety of the two-year master's. 75% of those scholarships do need to go to students outside the European Union, so we're really, really keen to hear from people who are international students. And how did you hear about the ACES programme? Well, I was searching in, on the internet for a further experience to, to have the opportunity to, um, to study even more the, the aquaculture sector and I, I encountered by searching it this great opportunity and I tried to apply and fortunately I won it and I'm here. It's great to see these young people coming along, asking questions about how it all works. You know, it's really good and gives me an opportunity to tell them what we do here in Scotland. But as I say, it's a global industry and uh, we've been fortunate enough to be part of that. So if you can involve industry from the earliest stages of the development of the course and get industry involved in providing sessions like we've had today with Fusion Marine, which has been absolutely brilliant, seeing it from you know the cutting edge or the shop floor, as it were. Finding out about new species and how they do it in warm waters, it's, it's, it's great for us too. So yeah, we work with many universities and uh, locally SAMs. So they spend six months here in our beautiful uh, west coast of Scotland. Then they move and spend six months in, the, in Crete, where they have a lot of specialities, a kind of international centre of excellence for Mediterranean finfish species. And then they spend another six months in the, at the University of Nantes, which of course has experience in shellfish aquaculture. And then the final six months, they can choose where they go. So they may want to come back to the west coast of Scotland, um, where they do like a six month research project throughout the entire two years we spend as much time visiting different industries working with the industries so the idea being that when those students leave after those two years they are fit and ready to go straight into industry if that's of course what they want to do we have over 18 companies some big players in the industry as well that have um, signed up to say that they will provide places for these students in their final six month placement we also been visiting the Caledonian oysters and getting in touch with different people, their culture, their expertise, so maybe these are the, um, the things that uh, I appreciated more during this period. To bring the students here and to see how an international company basically works and to go from the shop floor to see how they're actually physically joining the pipe, the plastic pipes together to make these incredible sort of polar circles here, these fish pens as you can see behind me, I think to have that experience and to actually get to talk to the managing director was fantastic and uh, what a great networking event for our students. And after finishing their studies in Sunny Oban, the students are off to Crete in February 2016. 